My name is John Bachman, and I'm the Executive Director of Animal Charity Evaluators, and I'm very happy to be here with you here today. All right, let's start this off right. Now, if you had asked me four years ago what I thought the odds were that I would be here today with such a distinguished group of people, incredible speakers, just fantastic, impact-minded advocates. If you told me I'd be here up on stage with Peter Singer, one of the greats of all time, <laughs> if you had asked me what the odds were that I would be here today, how likely you thought that'd be four years ago, I probably would have said, yeah, right, and Donald Trump will be our next president. <laughs> Welcome to the very first Effective Animal Advocacy Symposium, where we've all gathered to talk about one of the most important topics as related to animals, and that is research on the best methods to help them. I'd like to start off with just a couple business uh, housekeeping matters. We are providing breakfast and lunch both days. We provide a list of places to eat on Saturday night. Uh, I believe you'll be able to find a list before you leave here tonight. Uh, just for everyone's knowledge, we are recording the duration of the event, so if for some reason that would uh, change how you might ask questions in the Q&A, uh, we wanted you all to know that. Of course, that's for the benefit of everyone, so we, we can share this with the rest of the world after the event. Uh, I'd like to call out specifically the Princeton University Center for Human Values for helping pull this event together, specifically Maureen Killeen the assistant director, and Kim German, the staff assistant. They've both been absolutely fabulous in making this happen. Of course, I'd like to thank Peter Singer for his involvement and in spearheading a, a lot of the initiatives that, that got us to this point as well. I'd like to thank Natalie Betkova and Quinn Groover, president and treasurer of PAWS respectively, for their help and, and uh, assistance with the event yesterday and today in organizing everything. And lastly, I'd really like to call attention to Sophia Davis-Fogel, for whom this event, would, with, this event wouldn't exist without her. So let's give a, a round of applause for her. 